Hello everyone. Today I plan to make a free NAS, or better say a PC NAS for my home. I decided because we have a lot of computer now and also mobile, and I need to make a sharing place for all of the files that my family want to make. I'm planning to use my old PC, as we can see, very old. You can see the floppy disk in front. I think it's the same old as my myself, maybe five or six years younger. It's a 7075 sockets from the Intel. It have an Intel Pentium 4, but I need to change it later and use a Core 2. The support CPU is not very good at the moment, and I'm planning to up upgrade the BIOS to have a more range of more range of the chips that I chip, uh, the Intel chips that I, that I can use. <laughs> That's very nice lightning. <laughs> anyway, there's also another problem: the power supply. I don't know what kind of noise is this coming from. I checked the two of the fan, but this wasn't coming from them. I checked the PSU power supply fan and even add oil to the fans, but it still give me a noisy sound. Look like I need to change lots of things in this case. I also need to add a hard disk later for this power supply. Man, this case is so problematic for challenging better saying for making a NAS and also backup server I'm planning to make a to add a Windows 7 at the moment I'm installing it to see can it support it or no I know that it's, it's the old the last drive is from Vista let's go to the Windows good old days uh, 40 gigabits hard disk and other 80 gigabits it's a very sad challenging at the moment and just you know the formatting is also take a lot of time it's completely paused <laughs> I never see that before in any hard disk that I'm working without that I need to upgrade the BIOS and put a better CPU let's see what can I do with this system I hope you will follow me. Here comes the my system for BIOS update. Luckily, it was for Windows. It doesn't need to make a dust port and dust disk for this. I'm running as a Windows administrator, and I updated it before, and I just show you how it looked like. It's a very old version, as you can see. System information Windows XP. Lol. As you can see, very old chip program. I can't open it or save it. I will save it for now to show you how it looks like. It does look it, and by opening one, I can make the system to write again. But because I updated, I don't need it. I don't need to do that again. Here comes, I just flash my BIOS and upgrade it for supporting the maximum Intel chip that I can use in my BIOS at the moment. I should add just a lot of things. Samsung, Pixel, um, I should change this. Um, what can I change? That's very challenging. I don't know what is this. Oh man. Hard disk. What kind of hard do I have? 40 gigabits. 66 door. Uh, to be transfer. Another hard. 16 sector. I have a 2 SATA. That means I can use uh, the hard disk from SATA and uh, in case to 1 terabyte. Or maybe two terabyte. Uh, 
within frequencies to just six fifty speed. Demo management. I think this means that my CPU can support the thermal management. I think I, I should use the code to do for this maximum valuable. Let's set it. Pause for a second. I'm going for check this limit CPU ID maximum valuable. Okay, coming back to other systems. Uh, Don't know how much I got this guide is. Uh, as you can see, it's very hard to read what is what. I'm not going for raid. Change me it, go up. Uh, nope. 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 Not this one. Here comes. No, I'm bot ID. Where are you? Okay. This is the one. Limit CPU ID maximum valuable. This item can be support previous cut CPU for old OS. Use a place not that under NT4, it must be set in a way while under Windows XP must be disabled. Okay, I should be disabled this. Pause for coming back coming back for this system. You should be disabled. Enhance hot I C I1. Pause again. I should read all of them before setting my BIOS and my old system. <laughs> oh man. This will be my favorite part because I can adjust a lot of saving power and also maybe decreasing the power usage by the old system. Not much, but it's better than nothing. Here comes my BIOS in a new setting. I'm going for the next one. Here comes the next part, the PC head starts. I should adjust lots of things. <sighs> Too much. I never think that it takes at least one or two hours for finishing. I'm reading everything at the moment to adjust. Look like I think too much that doesn't much of option in this page at the moment. Only I have it these four numbers that don't know what is this. <laughs> Trolling. And I am um, shut down temperature for 75 for safety. I don't know when with the CPU fan or something else going to kill himself. It's not bad to have it. 2636 RPM. Good, good damn it. That's too much RPM. And just tell you, we can't touch even the fan because it's fa turning very fast. Going for next, the take frequency enable, spare inspection. No, I will set it disable. Nothing just in case the voltage. Okay, save and exit. Here it comes. My new BIOS. Yes, it to put. Did I lose my windows? Nope, look like I'm still alive. No, I'm not planning to use CD or DVD. And here comes the Windows 8.1. Not using 10 because I'm still new in 10, and I also have a two system that need to upgrade them. Come on. Pentium for 3 GHz, 3.2 GHz. This system running on this kind of CPU with a 2 GB RAM at the moment. I need to change it to core to do. Maybe to 2160, I think that maximum CPU is supported by this main board. Come on. Without that, this is a loaded system I can do all monitor <laughs> come on back to life here comes the new windows 
and I think everything works right at the moment. I should check a lot of things coming back soon. My CPU uses usage at the moment with the Pentium 4 3 gigahertz. That's interesting. I didn't expect this much of RAM was used by system. Come on, be alive. That's an interesting system. Okay. As you can see, I have a little problem at the moment. And the problem is I don't have a network. Oops, sorry. Open network connection. It comes. As you can see, I don't have any LAN connection. My, system, my windows didn't detect them. And it's a problem. There is also the network sound that didn't work. Oh man. It comes. As you can see. I don't have a multimedia audio controller and an Ethernet controller. This is my wireless LAN adapter. I didn't even install it yet, but I have a drive happily. But I'm, I'm focusing on these two because I'm planning to connect with the LAN. Coming back soon. This step. This system is so old. I'm moving my file from the flash memory to the hard disk. The USB 2. But the SPD is killing me. Really. I check it in my other systems and it passed. 4 megabits or more, 6 kilobytes. Oh my god. And I think he just killed himself. Not responding. Coming back. 1.97. Okay. All of my wireless come out. And let's see. I'm using the drive from the drive pack solution that I download. It's not a bad site, giving me the necessary drive that I needed. I'm using Windows 7 32 bit, not 64, to give him a less problem. Uh, here we go. I disabled the safety system in the Windows control panel, user control panel. Later, we will enable it again. Install this drive. Yes. Okay. I hope that it works and don't give me error. And I start this drive anyway. Sorry if my camera is moving very badly. And I start this drive anyway. Let's see how much. CPU is using. Oh my god. This is epic. My system going to kill himself with this much of CPU usage. Okay. Device updated, no needed. Not needed. That's interesting. No device for update present. Simulator. Finish. Let's see. Did we update it? This older system. And looks like yes. Where is it? The sound and device, yes. The old one is installed. Going for a next one, the LAN. Here comes the LAN one. The Vista version doesn't work. I'm going for the drive pack one. Let's start this. Here comes. 
Ah, there's one. Okay. Device updated. Do I have a LAN now? Oops. Oh, come on. I want to right click. And yes, I have a LAN now. That means I can now make a LAN connection very easily. And now I'm trying to install the video one. It wasn't released for 64? Wait a minute, I want X32. Why are you giving me this version? I'm back soon. Looks like I don't have a drive for the graphic and it's so old for using for even for Windows Vista. Oh man, that's a problem. But maybe not. I can use it as a server and just remove the stop it. It doesn't need to have a graphic card when I need it. I can still use it as a as a private server and connect with the remote desktop instead of connecting the monitor to it. I think it's, it's enough for now and I hope you enjoy and follow me next video to how I set up my network. Nice lightning but this case is so loud. I don't know how I used this case before. Everything I hear is a sound. And the coupling is also a madness. A little space to the fan. I should change a lot of things and adjust. Also, this is a tablet I should change the this power supply.